Uh, how we doing everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Mash and Drum Whiskey Room. I am Jason C. I am very excited as today is the first episode of Scotchy September, where I'm going to be trying all different scotches all throughout the month of September. Um, I have some here, some of the ones I'm going to be tasting. But uh, without a doubt, the number one scotch that everyone told me to start with was Monkey Shoulder. So before we get into this a little bit, uh, let's take a uh, closer look. So uh, in preparation of uh, Scotchy September, I tried to do as much research as I could, learn as much as I could about Scotch. Um, I was watching obviously a lot of stuff the Scotch Test Dummies did and, um, and Aqua Vitae and uh, Whiskey in the Six, Rob and a couple of other guys, just trying to learn as much as I could before I kind of dove into it. So, um, so what I did learn, which I thought was really interesting, uh, so monkey shoulder uh, originates from an injury that the malt men, um, you, know, you know, those are the guys down in the, uh, on the malt floor, the barley floors, um, they hand turn the grain uh, in a malt house, you know, by hand or by shoulder. And they would sustain an injury from doing it so much and hence the monkey shoulder name was, uh, was created. So then I was like, oh, okay, so, how many of these distilleries are still doing it this way? So I kind of did some research. Uh, so most of the distilleries that I found uh, purchased their malted barley, uh, but a few of them do malt their own barley for uh, part of their production. Um, so when I looked it up, the latest uh, list I could find was uh, Bamore, um, the Balveni, Lafroig, Kilhoman, Highland Park, among others. But um, Springbank, however, is the uh, only distillery in Scotland to do 100% of their own malting, apparently. So. Um, so I thought that was really cool. I could kind of really see where the heritage and the, you know, the historic, uh, you know, the history comes in, you know, from guys doing it that way and how they used to do it and the guys that still do it now. What I'm really curious to see is, you know, how, you know, does it really change? Does it affect the, um, you know, the quality of what, you know, what I'm tasting, you know, can I taste that history? I think that's a lot of what, you know, scotch is. So, you know, same thing with bourbon. It's kind of what drove me to bourbon was the history of it all. Um, but with Scotland, I was more drawn to how it's made and how it's created. So I thought it was uh, pretty amazing. So this brings us to Monkey Shoulder, which is a blended malt whiskey comprised of three single malts uh, from uh, three different space side uh, distilleries. So we have Caninvi, the Balveni, and Glenfiddich. Um, those trio, that trio of whiskeys get acquainted in a 252 gallon ton for uh, three to six months before being bottled on site. So um, with that, I'm really excited. Uh, let's get into it, guys. So here we go. Um, this is uh, bottled at 43% alcohol, um, 86 proof. It's a Labor Day generous pour, of course. Happy Labor Day, everybody. Since I'm uh, releasing this video on Monday, uh, Labor Day. Um, so right off the bat, the color is pretty light, not unlike a young bourbon, but um, uh, very light, um, honey, very honey color. Um, and I, before I even, before I even put my nose to the glass, this is already, I could smell the, uh, the, the barley in this. So it's such a different aroma. I think it's something I'm, I'm actually excited to get used to. So, um, let's get into it. Wow. So yeah, this is, uh, so different than bourbon to me. <laughs> um, but in a good way, the, um, it's extremely sweet on the nose, uh, which I'm really really kind of makes me excited there. It's, um, I smell some orange and, and lemon. Um, I mean, a lot of vanilla, a lot of vanilla in it, I think. But it's really sweet. I mean, I, it's like orange marmalade, which is, you know, pretty, you know, that stuff's pretty delicious. So, hmm. Hmm. Now I'm starting to get, um, kind of baking spices like nutmeg. There's a little bit of cinnamon there, I think, that I'm picking up. 
it smells uh, creamy. Um, like if I drink it, it's gonna go down like a like a thick like a vanilla custard, which uh, sounds weird, but it does. It smells creamy to me. Maybe it's that marmalade smell I'm getting. It's really inviting on the nose. All right, guys. So that's really good. So let's. Uh, I can't wait. Go here. We go. Um, Solange. Wow, first sip. First sip, I tasted the orange marmalade. Now I'm getting some vanilla notes in there. Very fruity. So the barley gives me that, um, it's almost like the, uh, like a burnt toast. It's toasty. It's like the marmalade on the toast. It's really good. Hmm. You know, a little bit of honey but it's really just kind of marmalade on toast and with some vanilla in there. It's really good. So, yeah, I mean, the barley does come through. I mean, you know that this is a scotch, um, but it is really pleasing and I can see why this would be a introductory bottle to, um, uh, to scotch. It's, it's really good. I mean, this is, um, it's a lot sweeter than I thought it was gonna be. You know, so I picked this up for about 30 bucks and I figured for that 30 bucks, it can't be that great. But then when I saw the quality of the distilleries that were producing this, I'm like, okay, I'm probably getting somewhere here. Um, but it's, it's really delicious. Um, I'm gonna go in for a third sip here. Yeah, so, I mean, the finish is really, it's pretty short to medium. It's not long, but it is super, super pleasing and just sweet and really good to drink. Man, I could drink this for a while. Man, this, uh, I'm glad this bottle's 30 bucks. I have a feeling I'm gonna go through it kind of quick. Um, really good. And what I love about this bottle is they have the, uh, the three monkeys on here, the iconic uh, three monkeys on each other's shoulders, I guess the monkey shoulder. Um, just a really good, it's, it's actually really rich to me for the, uh, for the price you're getting, you know, a really nice dram. It's, you got all those fruits, sweet flavors. It's really pleasing to drink. And, um, yeah, I mean, based on some feedback that I got and some of the research I did, um, uh, most Scotch drinkers, uh, know about this, uh, about this bottle, but if you don't and you haven't had it and you're looking to get into Scotch. This is an absolutely awesome place to start. If you like orange marmalade, vanilla, sweetness, some honey, a little bit of cinnamon, and something that's not gonna break the bank, and it's not a super high proof, this is the way to go. Man, I can see why people like this so much. Great job. I'm loving the monkey shoulder. So wow, that's great. That's uh, my uh, scotch number one down. Um, yeah, I really like it. <laughs> I keep saying what's really good. Um, so, um, some of these other suggestions that I've gotten um, to try this month, uh, the Balvenie uh, Glenfiddich. Uh, this is the 14 year that was finished in bourbon barrels, which I'm pretty excited to try. Uh, Glen Morangi, the Quinta Rubin, which is finished in port wine. And uh, Compass Box Spice Tree. Uh, I've heard a lot about Compass Box. I have a couple bottles, but haven't really gotten into them. I actually just bought them because the artwork was cool. But now that I'm learning more and done some research, I, you know, what John Glazer is doing is pretty, uh, pretty amazing. Um, so with that, guys, I think uh, if, if anyone has any extra or any uh, any more suggestions for me to try, um, definitely let me know in the comments. I definitely want to get into the Macallan and some of the the other sherry uh, uh, sherry scotches. I want to kind of start with um, uh, maybe the bourbon ones and the and you know, some of these that were suggested, but if you guys know anything else that would probably be a better suggestion, you know, put them in and I'll definitely taste them. Um, I don't have a huge Scott's uh, uh, selection right now, but you know, I have a feeling after this and after these, it could grow a little bit. So, um, so uh, thanks for watching. Um, my, uh, my Instagram is there on the bottom of the uh, screen. Follow me at the Mash and Drum. Um, please hit the subscribe button. Please hit that like button. Leave a comment. I love talking with you guys. 
Um, and as I always say, it's not about the whiskey, it's the people you share it with. Uh, thanks for stopping by, happy Labor Day, and Solange. Cheers. <laughs>